www.bitcoinstrategy.com. Hello, this is Daniel Grady with a brief look at the markets for today, Tuesday, October 22nd. Uh, we'll start with a look at what's coming up for today. And what we want to focus on is at 1.30 GMT, which are the non-farm payrolls and unemployment rate release uh, in the United States. Normally this has a major impact on the markets, uh, but this data is a little bit stale because it's for the month of September. It should have been released on the first Friday of the month, but uh, due to the government shutdown in the United States, it it has been delayed. Um, the data is not ex is expected to by the markets to be somewhat um, contaminated, if we want to call it that, uh, by the uh, impending shutdown during September. So um, the market, it, even though it's expecting uh, 180,000 new jobs created and an unemployment rate of 7.3 percent, uh, something to the downside would already be expected by the market and could be discounted due to uh, to this shutdown. Also, this data is very important for the FOMC meeting, which will be uh, next week, and uh, the decision of the Federal Reserve as to whether or not to just begin its tapering. Um, a lot of investors expect the, the Fed to start its tapering as, as late as March, but a uh, significant improvement on in these indicators, like uh, an important drop in uh, unemployment, or uh, a lot more new jobs created than the market expects could uh, make the market second guess this, this assessment and uh, explore the possibility that the Federal Reserve will be redu reducing its uh, quantitative easing program at, in its meeting in December. So um, overall, the major risk for this event is mostly on the downside since uh, reduc uh, positive news Significantly positive news will indicate a possible reduction in quantitative easing, which will have a, a down, downwards effect on the market. And also significantly negative news will show that the economy is not uh, performing as well as expected, and this would have also a negative impact. Uh, moving over to the markets, we have um, the S&P 500 rose slightly yesterday. Uh, it found a new high, but it's, it's encountering uh, important resistance here. Um, again, this is probably this will be uh, waiting. You know, um, investors are waiting for what the da economic data that will be coming out. It's in the we're in the middle of um, corporate earnings report season, and uh, earnings have not been as good as expected. A lot of the uh, a lot of the corporate earnings have been uh, below market expectations. Also, a uh, survey of investors going into the market is expected. It shows that they are expecting the market to either be neutral or to the downside. So uh, we could be looking at the market, uh, the S&P 500 in general, the Dow Jones indicators, and all that to open, uh, at least open on the downside, and then see what happens uh, with the uh, FOMC. So futures here are slightly depressed to, to neutral. Uh, the euro uh, was almost unchanged. It rose by eight pips uh, during the session. Um, there was no major news releases that would affect the, uh, the euro or the dollar yesterday. Um, again, again, this the markets are probably going to remain stable until the until 1:30 GMT with the release of the uh, non-farm payrolls, since there's no other news that will that will indicate risk. Uh, something to keep an eye on also is uh, the relationship with the dollar. The dollar reached a, an important uh, another uh, support level yesterday, and uh, there's a possibility of a short-term bounce, which would cause weakness in this pair, and we could see a, a, a correction that would be independent of um, of the farm payrolls. The yen, as we, as we expected yesterday, came up to um, bounce off this the the 98. Um, 98.30 level. Um, we can see it's having a little bit of trouble breaking through. Uh, so for the day, we'll be looking to see whether this is a, a bounce off this level and a return down to 97.70, or it's going to be another push up to uh, 98.80. The pound also, as we expected, went through a, uh, a, a correction yesterday. Uh, but again, the overall bias for the, this pair is on the upside, so they'll fit back into this long-term channel that it's been maintaining. We could see it come down to a little bit further to, to reach the bottom uh, of the channel before going back up, 
and again, uh, mostly we're waiting for data from the non-farm payrolls. Gold um, also was almost unchanged yesterday, uh, just very slightly to the downside. Um, it appears to be bouncing off of a uh, retracement level here. This would at its uh, Thursday high, so it, overall bias seems to be on the downside so far. Um, we haven't had a significant move to uh, show a, a new trend. So we'll be looking at uh, at gold targeting the 90, I mean the 120, uh, the 1266 level that it tried to pass earlier in, in the month. And um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and happy trading.